Cross final played under the famous Twin Towers. They were playing Bashley, another amateur side from the New Forest in Hampshire. The first leg ended one all, so it was still all to play for on Saturday. Jake Fowler was our man there. Thousands made their way to the windswept welfare ground in the middle of Emley for the cup clash. It was a sellout with a capacity crowd of over 2,000. 500 Bashley supporters had travelled from Hampshire to see their side and they were in high spirits despite the strong wind that was to prove so decisive in the match. We left at quarter past eight. Straight run up here, stopped for a cup of tea and just after 12. But you didn't expect weather like this, did you? No, we're going to go back home pretty quick with the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you're going to win? I'm sure we are. Absolutely sure. You're uh, well stocked up with sandwiches and tea, are you, for the, uh, for the cold <laughs> weather? Oh, sir, yes. <laughs> I don't think it's any, anybody's favour, really, the weather today. Uh, very, very windy, obviously, very uncomfortable. But uh, once the game starts, that won't make any difference to the two sides whatsoever. They will both be going out to win. We've come out to win. We're a little bit confident. The local brass band were at the ground to generate a bit of passion in the hearts of the Yorkshire side. And, as you'd expect, they were confident too. No, I, I feel that we have done the hard work getting a draw away from home. And if we can't win on our own pitch, then at the end of the day, we don't really deserve to go to Wembley. Last season, Emily lost to St Helens at home in the semi-final of the FA Vars and were denied a trip to Wembley because they missed a last-minute penalty. The team were determined that they weren't going to miss out again, but they didn't make a good start. In the first half, it was Bashley who looked dangerous, mounting a number of attacks in quick succession. But even with that mighty wind blowing with them, they missed out on a number of chances. At the other end, Emily were looking promising. Number eight, John Francis, at the centre of the action. But at half-time, it was nil-nil, and the best yet to come. The Emily fans, sustained by tea and pork pies, were growing in confidence. Emily's certainly going to win in the second half by at least two clear goals. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> and the fans' prayers were answered in a matter of minutes, helped by a dreadful goalkeeping error. John Francis picking up the loose clearance to pick his spot. Emily were now 2-1 ahead on aggregates and just 40 minutes away from that Wembley final. But, not content with their lead, they piled on the pressure. Tim Devine slips through and unleashes a fine shot here. And John Francis celebrates another goal, but the goalkeeping is too good this time. Despite some late pressure, the final whistle comes as music to their ears. In the final on April the 23rd, it'll be a battle of the roses. Emily can look forward to a Wembley final against Colm Dynamos from Lancashire after they've recovered from a bit of celebrating.